What's going on guys? Welcome to the Floaty Cast. My name is Steven Maxwell. Last night, Pokemon Unite announced an update that will be coming out tomorrow. They changed some bug fixes. They got some text fixes, spectate feature test release. We're going to be talking about that a little bit. And just overall, some things that may improve your gameplay for Pokemon Unite. <laughs> Pokemon Unite has been out for two weeks and that's not without some controversy. There's been some issues like some people think Zapdos is too overpowered in the late game. Gengar has some attacks that are really busted and just overall like pace of play. You know, people are still learning about the MOBA system. You know, a lot of Pokemon fans are coming from things like VGC, maybe casual Pokemon gameplay like in Sword and Shield, the TCG, stuff like that. And then there are some veterans from League of Legends and Dota coming into this game as well. But it is a very strong sign, very awesome thing to see that Pokemon and the developers of Unite, Tencent, Timmy, or whatever, however you say that name, Timei, whatever, are making conscious efforts quickly to roll out fixes and changes into this game. It's super sweet. Like last week, we had Gardevoir come out and some minor tweaks there this week we got our full-on like patch i guess some nerfs buffs things like that so it's really awesome to see that and if you want to see more of these upgrades and stuff like that like live actual gameplay you can check me out at twitch.tv slash and while you're at it go ahead and like subscribe and comment to this video uh what you guys think of the patches the bugs and stuff like that and turn the bell on so you know when my video goes live for you First thing we're going to look at, though, are the changes being made to the Pokemon stats, moves, and the balances to the game. So, like, for example, Charizard, its cooldowns reduced. Effects uh, for Flamethrower uh, and Fire Blast. Effects on opposing Pokemons are strengthened. So, like, Charizard got a huge buff with this new update. Uh, so, Flamethrower has more effect. Uh, fire punch has more effect and fire blast has more effect and you can use them quicker however they're a little vague on the exact strength of these things like not real statistics it's not cooldown reduced by two percent or effects on opposing pokemon strength by how much it could be just a notch it could be a lot it could be a little so they're very vague on how on this process Talon Flame got buffed. Acrobatics uh, deals more damage. Aerial Ace deals more damage. Aerial Ace Plus deals more damage. Fly deals more damage. So it got buff on its damage output. As I said before, it all just says increase. We don't know how much. So it's very vague until you really like test it. So like, for example, me, I haven't played any Talon Flame. I'm going to be real with you. Talon Flame's not my bread and butter, probably because I don't have that pilot suit. And, uh, yeah, sorry, Talonflame. Until we get that pilot suit, you're going to sit on the back burner. So I'm not sure how to gauge how much it got buffed or stuff like that. Same with Venusaur. I haven't really paid much attention to Venusaur as well, but it got sludge bombs got uh, increased and the effects are strengthened. So like it does poison damage and poison's pretty good. Like with Gengar. Pretty nice. Petal Dance is a move upgrade. Um, I'm not sure if it already had Petal Dance, so maybe they, if they change the moves, that'll be kind of cool. Unless that's something else. I don't, I haven't used Venusaur either, but Petal Dance is a move upgrade. Solar Beam's cooldown is reduced, and Unite move Verdant Anger damage dealt to opposing Pokemon has increased. Now I gotta check if it has Petal Dance. Okay, yeah, it had Petal Dance beforehand. It's just that nobody used it. All right, so one of the scary things, though, for sure, is Absol. Absol got buffed. Who would have thought? Absol was... I wouldn't say it was the most broken thing, but the early game with Absol was really strong, and now it's Night Slash uh, is increased. Sucker Punch, which people usually use um, Psycho Cut. So... But Sucker Punch may have merit now. Like I said, we don't know how... I, I'll keep reiterating. We don't know how much... Uh, you know that actually has been buffed however let me know in the comment section down below if you actually took the time to do the math here 
So Wigglytuff, the following stats have been increased. Defense, special defense, and HP. So Wigglytuff is a little bit tank here. And its double slap is stronger. And the effects that double slap uses, which I'm pretty sure it may paralyze them. Paraly yeah, I'm pretty sure it paralyzes them. So the strength, paralysis is more uh, strength. Or has more strength. Jeez, I can't talk. Sing, the sleep heat hits harder and Dazzling Gleam had some bug fixes. I don't know what that means as far as the bugs. Like I said, I don't use Wigglytuff that much, but Sing, it was annoying beforehand. Now it just got even more annoying and it's a tankier Pokemon. So Wigglytuff might be good now. Who knows? Eldegoss got some nerfs here. Cotton Guard cooldown is lengthened, so you can't spam Cotton Guard as frequently. Plus the rest, uh, HP restoring was decreased which is pretty bad like Eldegoss was one of the winners coming out of Pokemon Unite for sure and it got hit cooldown reducing Cotton Spore uh the effects are strengthened but Cotton Guard was like the main thing here Cotton Guard and Cotton Cloud Crash those were like the big moves that Eldegoss used so kind of sad to see that Cinderace also got smacked up uh Pyro Ball is a little bit better now um, but people were using like blaze kick and flame charge and blaze kick damage dealt had, was decreased and faint just moved down grades so like if you were using faint and you liked it it's not as good now full disclaimer that i do have to reiterate if you like any of these pokemon that i'm listing here just because they got nerfed or buffed it's not a bad thing to like stick with your guns like if you know the play playability of the character and what you can do with it and you feel, still feel comfortable with it, it this is a team game all right don't hamper your team trying to switch things up if you don't want to so just play what you're comfortable with help your team out and uh yeah so this shouldn't be that big of a deal for you guys even if they are nerfs or buffs it's just like your pokemon's a little bit better or worse but it's ultimately you that makes the decision another big one here gengar Gengar was also another big winner of the release of Pokemon Unite because people started realizing that Hex was good. Now it's got a downgrade coming. We don't know exactly what that means as far as what the downgrade is, but it's got a downgrade coming. And Shadow Ball is a little bit better, but I'm curious to, I'm curious as to how Hex and the Sludge Bomb Hex combo works going forward. If it's, I, I don't think it'll be that unusable, but it's not gonna be as busted as it was for sure because it's got a downgrade. Bug fixes on the basic attack. I don't even know what the bug fixes were or bugs were to be honest with you. Maybe there was something, who knows. Zero Aura got buffed. Um, it's not Discharge. What was the two? It's Discharge and Volt Switch. The Spark got bug fixes, whatever the bugs were. Wild Charge, uh, its damage dealt is increased and cooldowns reduced. So there might be some merit as far as like using another variant of, of Zero Aura. Plasma Gale also was decreased. Plasma Gale was super good because you had the same effect as Discharge a little bit stronger and then you gained your speed from using a Unite move. Now that damage dealt is decreased don't know by how much but it's decreased watch all these bugs are like it's decreased and it's like blip, like on the radar not even anything serious Cramorant got a little nerf whirlpool uh, I think I think it was whirlpool hurricane maybe it was dive hurricane something like that whirlpool's damage decreased and dive is increased so maybe you just switch it up a little bit of what you guys want to use there and they got cross chop on Machamp. Uh, close combat's a little bit better, but cross chop from my uh, Machamp users, I think, was the go to attack. And uh, it got decreased. And then bug fixes for Lucario, Greninja's basic attack, and Alolan Ninetales. One of the big things that was announced on this new game update was spectator mode. There's going to be a test release for spectator mode from tomorrow, August 4th, till. August 6th, I think that's Friday. Yeah, uh, Wednesday is August 4th. Yeah, August 6th. So Wednesday to Friday, they're gonna be testing the spectator feature and 
That is huge. I think I talked on my podcast back uh, last week that Pokemon Unite needed a spectator feature because how it's built now, if they were to try and do streamed like events, like stream a Pokemon Unite tournament officially, it would be very confusing because you are always you are always the purple team. So if you flop back and forth between different different teams, it'll always be that person is the purple team. You'll never actually see what the orange team's go doing. So it'll be nice to get a spectator mode to like see everything that's going on. And I don't need to explain exactly what spectator mode is. It's just you can watch the whole game go on and do some cool like transition scenes and stuff like that. You know, you know how they do in the big time, the big show. It'll be cool to see Pokemon implement that in their big official tournaments, you know, coming in the future. And not even like IRL events, um, just Players Cup 5, you know, Players Cup 5 could have a fourth uh, section to it. You have the TCG, VGC, Pokemon, and then now you can add Unite if you want to. I don't know how they'll do like a qualification thing. Maybe there is like some... this. I'm rambling, but this opens up so many opportunities for the, the growth of this game. And it is very important that this happens because it needs to happen. So let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of spectator mode. I'm super excited for it. I know a lot of people on Twitter were excited for it. Unfortunately, we don't have any for Pokemon trading card game online. And we don't have any ranked modes on Pokemon trading card game online. We don't have spectator mode and VGC. But like, it's, I don't know. I'm probably like the only one that thinks it's fine, but that's me. I'll, I'll take the minority on that one. And that's all right. But let me know what you guys think about this. Like this video if you like Floaty Cast content. It means a ton. It also pumps me up in the algorithm. And as I said earlier, I stream Mondays, Fridays at twitch.tv slash So definitely check me out there if you want to see more Unite gameplay. Uh, Wednesday is when this bug is or these patches are updated. We're definitely going to check it out there. And as always, subscribe to the FloatyCast if you like FloatyCast content. And turn the bell on so you know my videos go up for you. But more importantly, have a wonderful day and we will see you guys next time.